Brushing your beard is one thing, but brushing your mustache, let's get into that. Hey everyone, welcome back to another video from Volt Life Proof Grooming. And before we get this video started, make sure to like and subscribe, hit that notification bell. That way you're getting the latest and greatest from Volt. A few months ago, I showed you guys how to train style and shape your mustache. Well, we're back at it again, and I wanna show you guys another trick that you can use to style out your mustache if it's gonna be that handlebar, if you wanna shape it up. And it's a very simple process, but we have to stay consistent in doing so. And this is the reason for the epic mustache, right? The main reason why we do this is we wanna train our mustache to lay the way that we want to. And so to do so, we need a little bit of product and we need a bit of a tool to help us out. So those products and tools are going to be some mustache wax and we're gonna be using a barrel brush. And this is going to be the star of the show today. And I'm gonna show you how we're gonna pull out the mustache to make it separated and it's gonna lay where it needs to stay. First, we're gonna get out some mustache wax. We're gonna go ahead and apply some in here. And then we're gonna go ahead and get out the brush and I'll show you guys actually how I'm pulling the hair to the side to make it stay where it needs to lay. Now, in my opinion, I like to use more of an amount of your mustache wax and this is gonna help solidify where it needs to hold. Uh, and as you're growing out your mustache, it's gonna be a little easier as you apply some product. So get yourself a good amount. But what I wanna do is I wanna apply wax all on my three fingers and this is gonna coat every single square inch of the mustache. And what I like to do is I like to start from the bottom and we're gonna pull that apart, separate it, and then we're gonna start working our way up. And we're just gonna push that mustache to the side and then we'll go ahead and start on the top. And then we're gonna make everything push out and then we're gonna start working on the handlebar. Now, as you guys can see, my mustache already has direction of where it needs to go. And the main reason for this is because of constant applying and combing. And this is why we wanna do this. And if you check out that video from earlier in the few months that we've done before about how we're training and styling out that mustache, it's because of this. It doesn't take too much product as we get into the brush to go ahead and put it where it needs to go. And we're just gonna go apply a little bit more. We're gonna push it to the side. And right now, we're pretty much good to go. Now, just like the hair and the beard, we need to put that product in and we wanna style it out. And we're gonna be using this barrel brush, okay, from Volt. And what I wanna do is I wanna use about an inch to two inches of the top part of the brush. And we're gonna go ahead and put it in. We're gonna start from the top of the nose and we're gonna work our way to the side. So we're gonna put it in. We're just gonna give it a little bit of a twist. We're gonna pull it to the side. And this is where I really wanna focus on, on that top part of that stash. As for me, my hair, I like to go ahead and trim out that lip line. And then once the top part of this mustache right here grows to that top of the lip line, that's where we're gonna go ahead and start brushing it out. That way everything blends in where it needs to go. So we're gonna go ahead two inches again. We're gonna pull from the top to the side. And then I like to get my pinchers out and we're just gonna pinch this up and out. And then that way we've got a nice separation from our lip and the chin. And then that way we have a nice styled out handlebar mustache. Now I'm at a point where I really need to trim up the lip line again because that top part of the mustache, you guys can see there's a lot of flyaways going on, but this is a great way for you to start with when applying and using some tools, okay? There becomes a point where your hairs are gonna start going everywhere, that's that awkward phase, but if we do diligence and we just stick with this regiment of product and tools and going ahead and putting where that hair needs to stay, um, it's actually gonna be easier uh, every day as we apply. And before you know it, when you're you know getting out of bed and you're just taking out a shower, even before you're putting in your product or using your brush or comb, your mustache, uh, surprisingly enough, will automatically stay where you have trained it to go. So that way, when you are going into this, you know, self-care list, it's, you know, it's, it's boom, boom, boom. You've got your products, you got your tools, and then if you need to, go ahead and use your hands, help you out just a little bit. If that's uh, rubbing in some product, if that's pushing out your mustache, pinching out here, pulling out the sides for the handlebar, you're good to go. And my biggest suggestion is actually going down into the link and checking out the variety of products that you have available to you through Volt and that will give you a better uh, range of motion into your beard styling and you know hair care products there. And that's one thing I do like about the Volt product line. It got you everywhere from beard color, from balms to butters to oils. You're all set and that's what we really want is a nice repertoire of good things uh, you know, in our beard products. So with that, depending on if you're going out your beard, your mustache, or your hair, just keep on top of it, keep on point, and uh, you can't go wrong. So with that, you guys, uh, I will see you in the next video. Have a good one. See ya.